Illinois Governor Rob Lagojevich had a four-hour meeting with renowned Chicago lawyer Ed Jensen Saturday. Jensen has defended newspaper baron Conrad Black, R&B singer R. Kelly, and others in high-profile cases in Chicago. He confirmed the meeting, but wouldn't talk about what was said. Since the scandal broke, Blagojevich has tried to project a business-as-usual image and brush back calls for his resignation despite the growing firestorm. And he's been going to work and handling state business every day. You can't pay to play. Out on the streets Saturday, a group of protesters called on Jesse Jackson Jr., who's also become ensnared in the political scandal, to resign his seat in Congress. This stuff must stop because it's causing confusion in the black community. And, and we want him to resign because that's all he's done since he's been in the U.S. Congress. Jesse Jackson Jr. must go. Jackson has denied any wrongdoing, but a criminal complaint says Jackson's supporters were willing to raise one and a half million dollars for the governor to make that appointment happen. We want him to admit that they had secret meetings with Bogorovich. We want him to admit that they offered the money for the position. We just want him to come clean. The Chicago Tribune has reported that Obama's chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, had conversations with the Blagojevich administration before the election about who would replace Obama in the Senate. The conversations were captured on wiretaps but didn't suggest any deal making. Even so, Republicans are demanding answers. As for Blagojevich, the state legislature could start impeachment proceedings as soon as Monday. And the state Supreme Court could soon act on a request by the Illinois Attorney General to strip the, the governor of his powers. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.